All right, I think it's finally working now. <laughs> uh, one's in the chat if this thing is working. Let's see, the chat's not working, so that's great. Hmm, let me bring this up. I have to hear myself in double. Must be working because someone said a super chat. Can you do that before stream? Okay, how's my voice? Can people hear me? Okay, lots of ones. Okay, that's good. Something's working. Let me uh, pull up the stream because my other instance crashed because I didn't have the stream open, I guess. All right, let's see. Now I can see the chat. On the low side, I don't know. Let's let's raise it. Like it's it's in the yellow. Like the Streamlabs has like a green, yellow, and then red. And yellow and red are like, hey, it's clipping. It's too loud. So we'll see. Let's see. Why my chat pop up went away? Where is it? It's gone forever. There it is. Jeez. Flex biceps. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. You can't see it anyway. Let's see. Hmm. Turn up. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just turn up through Streamlabs. How's the echo? Now I can get, like, I looked back at the last two live streams and the echo was super, super high. When I do recordings for video, my mic's typically, like, right here, so there's almost no echo. But obviously, I can't do that while I'm doing live stuff. And for now, I need to, like, disassemble my entire desk, disassemble my monitor arms flip it over and like get rid of this creaking sound. And when I do that, I'll probably install a mic arm and try to figure out how that works on this one. Um, I kind of have an issue with that because my desk is not that big and I'm kind of maxed out on this wall. So either I will get a new desk and kind of put it in the middle of this room and maybe create a backdrop that's on a green screen. I'm not really entirely sure about that. And then use the monitor arm that way. But uh, I don't hear an echo, let's see. Let me see. No, you can't see me. Like I, I tried. So these, I have these AirPods for streaming, but you know, of course, uh, as a responsible person, I only check things right before I have to go live, and they just weren't working. I went on Chrissy Maris' uh, morning podcast and talked about Eliza Blue on Monday, I think, and they just started bugging out and sending like a really loud sound in my ear. So I had to switch over to headphones there, um, even though I prefer AirPods because it looks more natural. It's kind of like muting the, the uh, I'm always curious if an orange shirt is being worn for a reason. Um, yeah, orange is one of my colors. Look up color theory if you want to know what colors you're supposed to wear. Depends on your skin tone, your eyes, and, and your hair color. Certain colors look better on you versus uh, other people. Coming... What? Okay, I can't understand some of these these uh, things. How come the super chats aren't showing up on my feed? That's gonna really suck. Do I have to go into the live chat? So, hold on. I feel like bad if someone donates and they don't get their chat read. Is there a way to see it on YouTube? That's so weird. Let's see, can someone send me like a $2 super chat to see if it pops up? Something like non-offensive, not like $100 or something like that. But I swear I saw one pop up earlier, at least through Streamlab or, um, yeah, Streamlabs. Maybe I'll just have to use the website for that. Let's see. Let's go to the dashboard on the website. And hopefully, <laughs> oh my god. These are all the technical difficulties that'll be figured out as I stream more. I kind of got busy, which is why I haven't streamed in like a month. I ideally want to do it once a week. I think I'm going to do one more before the end of the month. Okay, I see Super Chats here, but they are still not appearing on Streamlabs. Uh, let me just read them just so they get sick. Um, Nova Flash $5 coming from someone who that is a furry. I can tell you there's a lot in the community to go over. Curious if you do anything on it in the future. I don't know. I'm not really interested in that community. Uh, no, I'm not gay, uh, Alex. Uh, Let's see. I said you need mods, but I saw one. Yeah, there are some mods. Th that, that'll that'll develop over time. 
Okay, now okay, now it's appearing. Well, maybe it just appears to the website, but it's supposed to do hit the YouTube super chats and the website super chats as well. Okay, geez. I think we're about ready to get into it. Yeah. Set up my professional stuff first. In an unprofessional way. Let's see. Uh Four element girl, love the content. TBOS longer hair looks good on you. Keep up the good work. It's only slightly longer though. It gets more annoying because my hair kind of mushrooms like out to the side, like it's kind of mushrooming here, and I hate that. And my uh, hairstylist was really, really far away. Let's see. Uh, glad you're making lives a regular thing. It's always a treat. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. What's a DDG orbit? I have no idea what that is. Let me look that up. <laughs> it's probably something really offensive. Was it like a stock thing? Deep fake? I don't know. What's your max bench? I don't I, I don't do max bench because I typically work out alone and uh, that's stupid and dangerous to do that. So if I get a spotter maybe, but I'm currently benching 135 and I'm kind of stuck um, at my level because I, I haven't slept a lot recently and that really affects your strength gains but so I'm going to take like a month off from increasing or maybe like a month and a half off from increasing just uh, uh, sit at my current levels the levels that that were in the video that I did where I talked about the girls working out and stuff like that thoughts on Kevin Samuels uh, I think Kevin Samuels was one of the, the better red pill people I think it was kind of unfortunate that he died because he, he was he said some things I didn't really appreciate in the beginning. Like he was kind of on on the lines of like, uh, again that that same like fresh and fit or Andrew Tate thing where like if you're rich it's okay if you cheat. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, cheating's not only bad for, you know, the relationship, but also if you're having kids, it's hor horribly insulting to the kids. Um, but Kevin Samuels was kind of going from from like a. So like a like a redemption arc on the, like he was actually promoting healthier and healthier relationships as he he went on then unfortunately he died and now it's just like all the the worst people who say sort of correct things about relationships but also promote some really bad things like uh, have as high of a sexual body count as possible you're a guy so it's okay um, <laughs> or like I think remember remember Myron saying that you have to have like fifty sexual partners before you have a marriage I think that's the stupidest thing ever like how are you supposed to commit to one person when you've kind of split yourself fifty different ways like it, that's you're describing something that's more a, of an addiction especially if you have the ability to get that many different partners um, I wouldn't recommend that for men or women let's see odd little curl you got going there it looks nice nonetheless yeah my stylist recommended that. Once you get to a certain level, you kind of just find people who are really, really good at what they do and ask them just tell you to do things and, and have them solve problems for you. Otherwise, everything becomes so time consuming. You really, really don't have much time once you kind of get into your career. So if you're young, if you're in college or before college and high school, get all your, your skill and, and, and social improvement done now so that you aren't missing out later because it's really, really hard to improve later in life. It, you, you kind of like it's it takes a lot more work, though it is possible. Western entertainment industry. I don't know. Oops, sent five hundred. Let's see a five hundred dollar super chat here. Let's see. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna stop reading chat. Let's let's get into a video here. So I, I've recently been seeing some things on TikTok, and there's kind of like the other end of dating that I don't usually talk about because it doesn't seem to, to to fit regular videos. But I figured live streams would be better for this. So. I've recently seen like a TikTok trend of women talking about their dates and stuff like that. And this this particular person recorded a date. And fortunately, unlike the all the the gym chicks who are recording and showing people's faces and saying what a creep and doing all this stuff like that, she actually did not show the guy's face. So good on her for that. Um, but I think here's an example of somebody who might might be angry about how women behave when a lot of the behavior is on him and, and a little bit on her but, but mostly on her or sorry, sorry mostly on him um where it's like he's like if you looked at a guidebook for how to do the perfect date he is doing all the correct steps but in the wrong in the wrong emotional in the wrong um yeah in, yeah in the wrong emotional context 
Let's see. Are you still MGTOW? No, I already described that later, uh, earlier in different streams. I haven't been a MGTOW creator for like two and a half years. Make a video on what? No. Let's see. All right. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Make sure to actually show the uh, the window first. All right. There we go. So dating a nice guy, he controlled everything, made me feel awkward. Nice. Thank you. Let's see how it's a little bit too low. Let's bring that up a little bit. Oh, nice. Thank you for taking me here. You're welcome. All right. I'll get those going, and then I'll come back and grab them. Thank you very much. All right, so I liked what she had mentioned about the scallops. I thought that sounded really good. You know, I'm a big sea cook fan, so I think I'm going to do that. Let me order for you. I'll surprise you. I know what you're doing. I hate surprises. <laughs> okay, so right there, he is doing actually a very, very good thing there. He's, uh, not every chick likes this, but a lot of chicks like having their, their thing ordered for them and just kind of being like, being along for the ride. The issue with what he's doing is he's being like super, super forceful about it and not really hitting the social cues of I hate surprises. It means she might not actually hate surprises, but it means like, Hey, you're you're creeping me out quite a bit, and I actually don't want you to order for me. <laughs> um, she's in a dream. Well, well, we'll get this certain volume, please. Uh, say, but what? Let's see. I remember watching this. Okay. Anyway, just looking, just checking chat to make sure nothing's like off with the audio. Eventually, I'll just kind of look at the the uh, the interface and know. But well, this is only the third stream I've ever done, so. You, you know this place better than me. So. So what are you doing? Now she's like backing off and like saying, uh, just just kind of accepting it so he doesn't like yell at her or something like that or make a scene. I'm getting the ribeye with the mashed potatoes. So what are you gonna order for me then? The ribeye with the mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't like regular, but not good hair or something? Well, you don't want to add on any calories to your No, but. <laughs> That's good. I wonder where he got it. Like, it, it really seems like he learned all of his dating stuff from, like, Reddit and stuff like that. And, like, has never, maybe he's just first getting out there, has never actually really practiced social skills. But, like, again, not really reading social cues, not really saying things that are really socially appropriate. It's very much nice guy energy. Sounds like, yeah, he does have a nasally voice. I'll, I'll, I'll take the L on that one. Uh, my first name is Sean, uh, for the person who asked that. Let's see. I would have left it. Yeah, I think, honestly, she should have just left the date. I would I would have, uh, at this point where he uh, he does the calorie thing, if, if a girl had done some sort of equivalent thing to me like that, I would just hit the bathroom and just left. Let's see. Anyway. We're on a nice little date, so I think I can ignore it for now. I'll order you a drink that'll, that'll suit what you're looking for. <laughs> But I don't drink that much. Is wine really that many calories? I mean, it's kind of sugary. I usually don't drink wine because it's like the worst hangovers are from wine. Usually you want the, the least sugar possible if you want a, a not crappy hangover. But what is it like? Generally, alcohol is like 100 calories to 150. Maybe it's like 80 calories if it's vodka and just straight alcohol. Like it's not that many calories. Something with less calories. Yeah, that is true. I mean, wine does have a lot. Like, I mean, he's he's pulling out a ribeye and mashed potatoes. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of calories in itself. Like, the the, the wine's not going to be that that big of a deal. Uh, how old are you? I'm 32. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Stunk Beagle, super chat, $5. I think I'm good at recognizing social cues, but I just don't. Maybe acting awkward makes me feel less awkward. Um... I, th I think these days, in terms of social skills, like it takes, what the hell is a passport, bro? <laughs> uh, those people who go to like Thailand and stuff like that, I don't know, that's kind of creepy. Uh, so uh, for social skills, I think a lot of the, a lot of our stuff is like way too online. One of the kind of the themes that you'll see with these dates is it just seems like this is a date that obviously was, was caught from an app or, or there, was, there wasn't some like vetting that went on before the date that would just have ruled this out. And I think that's kind of the, the negative of dating through an app versus like actually meeting a person at some social event or at school or being friends first for a while because you could easily save yourself from a lot of this struggle just by doing some s s small sort of vetting. Anyway, wine does have a lot of sugar. Yeah, I, I don't really like wine for that reason. It, it really gives me headaches. 
Yeah. I tend to know what women like. <laughs> That's good. That's good. But not many guys do. Well, I'm definitely a cut above the rest. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Like that, that, that line makes me feel that this date is like fake. There's no way a guy said that unironically. <laughs> so and the, the point of showing this video is that, that there are some things that women do have the right to complain about, and certainly th this would be one of them. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go with... She's actually gonna have what I'm gonna have. What's that? Uh, I'm gonna have the... Uh, Are the one of you like to add super salad? Oh, I don't know about the soup. Better get the salad. Don't want to add all those calories onto the meal. What the hell's a cheeky flex? Two dollar super chat. Brian, last name I can't pronounce. I'll read the uh, the Streamlabs super chats after this video. It's almost over. Is that okay? Yeah, at this point where she's in the bathroom, she should have just left the date. I don't know why. Maybe she the the table they were at was close to the door, but I think if he wasn't paying too much attention, he could she could have just snuck out of there. Can't even order. He thinks he's being so nice. Someone's saying use it. Wait, is that like a margarita? Is isn't that like a similar number of calories to 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 wine? Uh, someone's saying use my green screen properly. I don't know how to use it properly. That's why there's nothing on there. Also, a uh, little story. So I had a different green screen from my first two live streams, and it was too small and did not cover the entirety of my, my camera uh, field of view. So I got another one that I used for Chrissy Maris thing on Monday. I broke it immediately, but who cares, because uh, it was too short. <laughs> anyway, and then I got this one, uh, which is finally big enough, but in the back, I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Let's go full screen for a second. It's like it's like ripply, and before I like knock this down on accident, like it's like wrinkled, but the it's like it's not like a like a felt or like not felt um like a cloth green screen. It's like this really hard material, so I can't just like spray water on it or use a steamer to to get out the wrinkles. So I'm kind of worried that if I uh, put a background like a fake background with the green screen, it's gonna look like crap. But I'll figure it out later. Today, today, my my goal today was to learn how to use the lights a little better to see because they were kind of bad on on um, Streamyards when I uh, streamed on, on Chrissy Maris things a week ago or whatever. How long? What is day? Is it Friday? Four days ago? Anyway, uh, I don't know. Is, is this? Let's see. Put it back to. Is this drink any less calories than the typical wine? Whatever. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to take care of my bill um, because. <laughs> I, I do mind. Go ahead and take no, care no, no, no. Listen, I've had an experience like this in the past, and I do not want to repeat, so I will definitely. Well, that's not me. Immediately, immediately should have backed off and just let her pay the bill and just taken the L and, and left the date. I mean, if there's any, like, if you're going to have a bad date, at least just, at least just learn the lesson um, and, and just take the, and, and just back off. You, you've obviously lost her. There's no point in paying for the date. Uh, or oh, there's no there's no point in not letting her pay for the date. You're not going to get her anyway. He he, he lost from like the, the first couple minutes of this date anyway, and and th this is why you actually need to go out and talk to people, not just do everything on Discord and, and Reddit and stuff like that, because you don't hear a lot of these social cues. Or you don't you don't hear vocal tonality. You can't see facial expressions and stuff like that. It's my hair messed up. Uh, facial expressions and stuff like that. Um, so it, it's not enough just to be chronically online. You actually need to go out and do stuff. Also, you'll be happier if you go out and do stuff. Uh, so she, she's she's pulling up. Let's let's go Dutch or whatever. That's immediate loss on this one. Uh, what well, another immediate loss on this one? I will not embarrass me. Ooh, that's that is like holy crap! I forgot about that. You will not embarrass me. That's like a. That, that goes from like, this was a sort of bad deal. Like, this is kind of like a, an awkward guy to like, I'm afraid of being abused. <laughs> it's not an embarrassment. Like, I can actually just cash out nope, you. it is. It is very much an embarrassment. Okay, okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Let's just not make a scene. I forgot you like to open the door. Thank you. That's really nice of you. All right, I'm just going to run it. Yeah, see, making all of the correct, like, if, if you had like a book on all the correct moves to make on a date, like, he, he uh, shows, so, sort of shows masculinity by ordering for her. He, uh, Let's see what it was. Six. He offers to pay for the bill. He opens the door. He makes sure he walks her to her car. All the right moves, completely wrong energy. And you're only going to figure out what the right energy is if you actually Into go out and the, socialize. The car, that's okay. No, no. Oh my God. I'm okay. 
I could have gotten in there a lot faster if nope. I just ran. The gentleman has to get the okay, door. that's fine. Thank you. All right, anyway, that's the end of the video. Let's uh, go back to full screen here for a second. So in context, it, it usually the, the case is it's not just if, if there's a, a, a bad date or a bad relationship going on, it's typically not just one party, though people like to present that way. It's typically somewhere it's both of, both of people's faults. Now, he's probably more at fault here, but I think if she's going to complain about dating in 2023, uh, which I believe was the original title of this video, I lost the actual original link, but I do have the person's account uh, well enough just to show the, like, so there, there's a certain quality of person that you're looking for that, that's going to, to get the good guy or going to get the the guys who make all the right moves and actually have the right personality and do the right things. Let's see. What's the source? I, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm half like, it was so cringe it was fake, but I, I think that, like, <laughs> um, so cringe it was fake, that, but it, it's, I don't know, there, there's a lot of people who are super socially awkward. Uh, Orthodox, uh, word I can't say because it's 2023 YouTube. Uh, do you like Daily Wire's content? The couple of movies I watched were good, like the the one with the the girl in the closet, and then the the one with the school and the violence. Th those movies were good, but I heard some of the other movies were, were just sort of average. Though, I don't know, we'll see. In terms of politics, I haven't watched anything with politics uh, in a while. Uh, how do I spell my name? S E A N. When's my birthday? None of your business. Let's see. Could you, let's see, uh, on the Streamlabs sides, I have a friend who's uh, Jack Mason. I have a $5 super chat. I have a friend who's very autistic and doesn't understand why people just won't say what they mean, what they want. He has many bad dates because of this. I'm wondering how much people classify themselves as autistic or just people who played too many video games when they were younger and didn't really get out and socialize and learn those social skills. Uh, let's see, dating is like a job interview. What's the point? Um, I think if you view dating like a like a chore, it's not going to be like it, it should be. Yeah, there should be anxiety and stress, just like there should be anxiety and stress during a job interview. But if you're not having some kind of fun with it, either you, you haven't done enough of them or you're kind of coming in with the wrong energy. When you're at a job interview, there should be a little bit of like they interview you, but I'm also interviewing them to make sure this is actually a place I want to work. And if you're confident enough to actually interview the job to see if they're they, they want that you would want to work there that's probably, it's going to be a much more likely pick as opposed to a person who just kind of t takes whatever. And I think you can have that kind of choice if you just interview a lot. Like you don't actually have to have a job or have to have like a high level job to, to, to be a little bit picky unless you are really, really, really broke. But don't let people know that. Don't let people know desperation. <laughs> Nobody wants a desperate person. Uh, the Big Dog, $20 Super Chat. Love the channel, bro. Help inspire me to be... Um, my better self came in because you ended Roma Army's entire scam, but the channel is so much more evolved. Couldn't be happier for your success. Um, I mean, Roma Army's still making quite a lot of money, but most of her money is from her Patreon or her Patreon work, uh, where she sends people classy photos. Uh, have I played? Is that that? I haven't played Atomic Heart. Uh, I can't Lee whatever Inator is that? I'm sure, is that some sort of innuendo? Uh, Fado super chat. Um, I saw an advertisement for it yesterday on my TV. I think it's got the guy from The Boys who plays a uh, Soldier Boy, or The Boys Captain America. All right, so when I originally saw this video, I was like, okay, that's obviously a bad date. Uh, but a as I said, typically, if you're if you're constantly getting things like that, there's probably something that you're doing that's not as great. Let's see what's up here. Oh, my interface. There it is. Okay, so now <laughs> I, I was completely on her side until I saw. Oh, I see. I see where this came from, and imagine what kind of TikTok she's got. And oh my God, it's just like the the gym TikToks where it's like ass to the camera. Uh, there's I it, it's offensive enough to where I can't show it on YouTube, where she's like doing this like swimming motion. She's got like. Uh, a five pound uh, barbell weight here, a five pound barbell weight on the other foot, and she's like swimming. And she's like basically opening and closing her legs with the camera pointed right at her. I was like, oh, okay, I see. And then um, take a guess on what her other social media is. 
let's see, where's the chat? So I can actually see people guessing. Uh, what what other type of account might this person have? Have you ever heard of Undead Chronics? Hmm. I haven't watched Undead Chronic in like two years, so I'm not really familiar. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Yes, every, everybody got it. She, Of course she has an OnlyFans. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, typical. So I, I think th there's a certain right to complain if you're doing everything you could, but if you're if you're doing this type of content on on Instagram or or TikTok or whatever Twitter, and then you have a, you're advertising OnlyFans, don't expect to get the guys that you actually want. So it, it's kind of this issue, this case where it's on both ends, where it's like on on the female end, it's lots of. Instagram models and OnlyFans uh, artists. And on the guys, it's just like a lot of people just really underachieving and not getting out there and doing stuff. Let's see. <laughs> I have another one. I have another one, but this one was kind of boring. Like, it seems like, I don't know. Let's do this one first. Let me put this one up there. Just looking through uh, Twitter and people just linking random stuff, and I thought this one was pretty interesting. And it seems like I don't know where this this actually comes from. Maybe people in chat can say what this is. It seems like a, a fresh and fit style podcast. Maybe they choose. Uh, they're not choosing people who are all Instagram models or strippers or things like that. So of course you're going to get a certain demographic if you're only choosing the same type of person. I think I missed a super chat about speaking of Myron uh, and stuff like that. Do I agree with Brefo's law? I don't know. Let's see. Thoughts on Hammer Hands. Uh, again, I haven't watched a lot of these people since like two years ago. And I think a lot of that community has changed as in improved and got a little softer in a good way. But I don't know. Hammer Hand had like some some argument with Better Bachelor a couple years ago where it's like uh, Joker said that, hey, you shouldn't, if, if a woman happens to comment in the comment section, don't just instantly shit on her. You should be crapping on people because of their bad ideas, not because of their gender or their sex. And Hammerhand just absolutely flipped out because of that. I think he um that issue that that kind of drama was resolved though. So um I don't want to judge something that happened two years ago. So I'm just gonna say I don't know. I haven't watched MGTOW content in a very, very long time actually. Let's see. I missed a comment about fresh diamond okay. Um Sorry if this is a little bit clunky. Sorry if there's a lot of dead air. I'm just, basically, what I want to do is for at least, I'm probably going to do one more stream before the, the month ends. I'm thinking Sunday, but again, don't take my word for it on that one. I could just decide I don't want to do it Sunday, but but tentatively Sunday will be the next stream. We'll see what happens, if not Monday, hopefully before the end of the month. And then I'll try to get one in per week um, just to kind of get used to interacting with chat, just to kind of get used to, to dealing with this. Because I think my, my arc for this is like, in in a year, I'll be decent at this. That that's about how long it took me to, to figure out Twitter. I cannot find the super chat that was about fresh and fit. Uh, so I'm sorry if that was your super chat. But I did see it before. I was looking at it while I was watching the other video. <laughs> um Let's see, uh, the Q Man at $10 sub bar. I got a question. How did you name your channel? Think before you sleep. Fan of the content. I'm always looking forward to your next vid. Oh, I should turn my phone off. That was very professional of me. Yeah, hold on a second. Why isn't my thing going down? There we go. Jeez. Anyway, back to full screen. Uh, I. I don't know. I think when I when I named the channel four years ago, uh, a part of me doesn't like the name currently because it's too long and it's not something that can be abbreviated. Some people have like really long names so you can like take one word out of that name and it sounds good enough to be like an abbreviated name. This one does not. It has, I think it has, uh, was like six or seven syllables? I don't know. I can't think before you sleep in the five syllables. Too many syllables. Usually you want to do things in threes or somewhere around that if you, if you abbreviate it. As TBOS, it's still too many syllables. So um, 
I don't know, but I came up with it because I used to have insomnia. I used to like sit around for hours and hours thinking about stuff before I went to sleep. It seems to be like a, so I figured that was a, 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 a name that wasn't like terrible. It's like a mid tier name. Usually when you have like really, really good names, people pay for them or they, they're just really, really good at naming stuff. Like you'd be surprised how many people, people will pay for names like Amazon or I don't know, choose or thing that, things that sound good. But there's actually, that, that's actually a job naming things. Uh, the speedy on silent super chat ten dollars data in america is, as a traditional man is such a mess also women is not a yeah, well yeah a little bit again if you're if you're doing that kind of content don't expect to get good guys like no no guy who is six foot tall has a six-pack abs and makes a hundred thousand dollars or more a year is going to be dating someone who has an only fans account and if you've already done that you better be very very good in every other area and that better be in your past, or you're you're not going to get a a guy that's going to create a, a stable relationship. Uh, one mix, Matt, I already said that. I don't know. Um, I typically work out alone, so it's. Do you think it's easier just for dudes to go overseas to date Western women, or so? Like, yeah, but the, the the woke stuff is infecting pretty much every country these days. So I, I don't. Well, plus, you've got diseases, you've got different laws. Like, imagine you accidentally break a law in a different country and you get thrown in jail. Um, so. I don't know. I've never traveled overseas. To... I generally don't like that behavior at all. Uh, just upping your number and just doing random women. I, I think that's. I don't. I've, I've never had any interest in that. Okay. Anyway, let's let's finally get to this video here. If I find a girl that I want to make my wife, and I find her super attractive. Make wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because that's what I would do. I would make her my wife. I would ask her to marry me, and then make her my wife. You say you are a feminist. You're 100% a feminist. <laughs> that is feminist. You look you like, you heard me about. say that. Oh, you heard make... Yeah, my my brain immediately shuts off and someone's like, "Make her your wife. How dare you? How dare you?" That's immediately someone who's probably not going to be good relationship material because they're already trying to reframe like a simple sentence. Like, "Holy crap, if she's dating someone, I'm sorry for him." Her my wife. Like Yeah, cuz that's what I would matter. do. It's like I, I'm I, an equal human. You, it's not about you, you funny, say that you even with things like that, like men, men and women are different; they're not equal. And I think trying to say everything is equal is actually really, really undermining people's usefulness. Like saying all cultures are equal, all people are equal, all things are equal. That just means the same. And so you don't want everything to, to be the same. You want things to be different. You want things to have different values or different uses. Especially like if you're talking about doing it something where you're working together towards a goal like let's say your goal is to raise children who aren't nuts you want people to serve different roles now you can you can reverse those roles some people like those types of relationships so i don't think most people do i don't think most women like the relationship where they're the breadwinner and and, and guys like the relationship where they're the the stay-at-home dad so though I, you know more power to if you if you do like that but th there's a certain job that has to be fulfilled which is a person makes the money, and the person take care takes care of the household affairs. Now, of course, because things have gotten so expensive, because you know banks like to do things like uh, massively inflate the cost of a house. I was remembering, like, I remember my, my brother dated a girl a bunch of years ago, and her her mom was a cashier, and her mom had a house as a cashier. You used to be able to work regular, like, like very very normal jobs not like the the most high income job in the world and you could afford things like that and now you can't and uh, maybe that's thanks to certain companies buying up entire neighborhoods or um well let's say <laughs> depends on what i could say or uh using certain uh political events to inflate the price of everything uh, so it, it, it becomes harder and harder to have stable relationships when like, okay, now it's like both parents have to work or you can't run, you can't survive versus before it was much, much, e not everybody, but let's say like the average person, if they worked a little bit hard, they could support a family pretty easily. So you didn't have to have these relationships where both parents do the same thing, where both parents are taking, uh, both parents are taking, um, household and work responsibilities. I don't think you get the best out of that. You typically, even in a company, you don't want everybody doing the exact same thing. You want people to specialize and hyper-focus and, and get really, really good at their portion of the job. Let's see, I don't understand the flirtiness and relationships. Dating seems to be, uh, Stunk Beagle, $10 super chat. Dating seems to be like making a new best friend without all the previous bonding experiences. 
What exactly is a relationship supposed to look like? That is a big topic. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can actually answer that question without thinking for about it for a while. Like that would be like a question for like a video. Um, certainly there should be some sort of uh, underlying attraction. You should, you should enjoy being around the person. The person should be mostly like you. Um, like you shouldn't, like I mentioned a study before a while ago, like this, this must've been like a year ago where it's like, it was an Axios study. It's kind of small. So, so maybe take it with a grain of salt, but let's, let's say it's true. Let's say it's just for the sake of argument where it's, um, they tested, uh, Democrats or people who said they were Democrats versus people they said who were, they were Republicans. And they said, uh, would you, uh, talk to someone who was a Republican? Like certain number of people said no, a certain number of people said yes. And it turned out that the left was more prejudiced than the right on this. And the one thing I didn't agree where it's like, oh, I, I don't like every other category. It's like, okay, this is kind of a problem. If you're not willing to talk with, and like, if you're not willing to be friends with someone who disagrees with you, I think that's, that's a little bad, but I can completely understand people who don't want to be in relationships with people who, who don't have fundamental values that are similar. Like if you're, if you're on the left, I don't think you should date someone who's on the right and vice versa, because you're just going to argue constantly about this stuff. And maybe there was a time period where our conflict resolutions, resolution skills were a lot better and that could be, that's possible, but I don't think that's possible now. I don't think people are good enough at conflict resolution to, to make a relationship like that survive. So certainly you should have the same political values and in terms of religious values, you should, you should have congruent religious values if you're going to date a person. So you should be mostly like the person. You should uh, enjoy spending time with them and um, obviously have good, uh, at least relatively decent conflict resolution skills. Um, and if you're not, it's time to, if you don't have those, it's time to build them. Uh, let's see, $20 super chat, enjoying your content from uh, Northeast Wisconsin. Uh, awesome seeing your channel grow. When I remember when I found it 2020 during COVID, it used to be MGTOW. I think I was, well, I stopped being MGTOW during COVID because of that actually, because I don't think, uh, what we all learned from COVID is that laws do not matter as long as you have the culture. So that's uh, as it is above, so shall it be below. Um, if so if it works in a high level sense it'll work in a personal sense so if you find the right people you're probably not going to have to worry about divorce court though i think it's up to your own decision if you want to uh, be in a relationship or if you don't i think each choice is perfectly fine as long as you are perfectly informed about or a, it, not perfectly but decently informed about the the positives and the negatives of both uh yin being a super chat of five dollars uh equal doesn't mean being the same though look at math equations yeah that's true um it's not me well uh wait Sorry, <laughs> just disagree with myself. Uh, well, um, but the size of the equation is different. Um, maybe I don't know about math enough about math to understand that metaphor, but I think we need to celebrate differences a lot more. Like I, I think it's like the the people like getting mad that someone wore a kimono for a modeling ad, and now that person like it's called co culturally appropriating. Well. That, that's how you, when you culturally appropriate, you're taking the best ideas from that culture and then implementing to them into your culture. I think it's like the most complimentary thing you can do is like say, hey, this idea is really great. Let me replicate it. Let's see. Uh, I make over 100K and I'm under 30. Super chat five dollars. I make over 100K and I'm 30. I ha if I had to date in this climate, I simply would not. Again, that's your choice. Uh, I'm Brazilian, a $10 super chat. I'm Brazilian, most women are mostly woke. No point in going abroad. Internet has made places. Yeah, I think maybe the, like, if you were to do the, I guess the passport thing 10 years ago, or maybe seven years ago or so when this stuff was new, I think it probably would have worked out if that was what you were looking for. But more and more, I just see woke stuff going around the entire world with the internet. And I don't think uh, if if we don't solve this culturally at home, it's not going to be solved culturally anywhere else. Everybody's just, just going to absorb the ideas. Fortunately, um, outside of uh, the uh, suppression of free speech, woke ideas typically aren't very popular. Let's see. Oh, let's finish this video. Wife. Obviously, she would want to be she my wife. She has her own life. She wants to be your wife, too. Yeah, of course. But she's uh, not for those of you who just came in, he said, uh, if I'm going to make a person or if I'm going to make a woman my wife, and she's like, how dare you say make her your wife? She could make you 
uh, your husband to or some some other bullshit. Have to go she's to the club. She wants to do her makeup. No, she's not. Oh. She wants to go to the club. Pictures. Hold on a second. Let me redo Obviously, that. Obviously, she would want to be she my wife. She has her own life. She wants to be your wife too. Yeah, of course, but she's she not going to. She wants to go to the club. She wants to do her makeup. No, she's not going to want to go to clubs. She's not yeah, going to want to go to clubs. No, because here's the thing. That's a non-negotiable for me in marriage. Okay, well if then. I, if I find if I find a woman, if there's plenty of women out there that don't want to go to clubs all the time. Okay, well. There's plenty of women out there that don't want to go to clubs girl. in tiny little dresses. <laughs> wow, was, was that a sex doll? They get owned by guys all the time. Because yeah, I got to say, like, if your chick goes to the club, that's it. That's a no from me. Um, If your chick is married, if you're married and your chick is still going to the club, but clubs clubs are very, very sexual environments. P you know why people go there. They're, go they're going to, like, it, it's almost set up, like, if you're trying to have if you're trying to have a conversation, clubs are set up to the point where you you would not. It, it's inconvenient too. So like you got extremely loud music, you have uh, alcohol involved, and sometimes other things involved. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe if you if you've done that before, like generally you should probably be looking for people who don't like going to the clubs. My wife never goes to the club. Yeah, you sh you, you shouldn't even have time to go to the club for the most part. Let's see. I live right across the street from a club. I'm sorry. It's probably pretty loud, isn't it? Yeah. Clubs are like low tier if you don't drink that much. Um, and if, if you're trying to have actual conversation, if you're trying to actually do some vetting for real dating, clubs aren't really the best place. The video audio is quiet, but could people hear it? I think I didn't, yeah, up the volume enough, but whatever. Having a meaningful conversation in the club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's impossible. It's an unfortunate part of content creation is that you have to go to clubs a lot, and I try to refuse as much as possible because clubs are annoying. Especially that it's hard to network if you're if you can't actually have conversation. Yeah, clubs are for hookups and one night stands. Basically, I agree. It's been super low on both videos. Let me just do a little video test here. Have your own life. She wants to be your wife too. Yeah, of course, but she's she not going to go she's... to the club. She wants right, to do house... her makeup. No, she's not going she to want to go to pictures. clubs. She's not yeah, going to want to go to clubs. No, because here maybe that. Yeah, especially if they're like accepting drinks from other guys, like the the Drew Afualo, uh thing, where she's like, if you guys saw that video, where uh, Drew was saying that, oh my, I, I go to the club to collect drinks from guys, and it's like. I don't know that, that if if I had a girlfriend who said that, I, that that'd be an immediate breakup. Like that would really, really, really piss me off. Let's see, one forty-five. Oh my god, people are. This is like. Actually, got away. I I actually face revealed months before this. Months before my first stream, I went to. Uh, uh, I don't think I have much crossover with this one, but uh, Chrissy Mayer, a female comedian, uh, does a thing called Content House. She also runs a show called Simcast, and so she did like a, a content 48 hour stream house in Florida. Um, ironically, we had to use the internet there in Florida, apparently in that particular area, Orlando, whatever whatever part of Orlando we were in, had zero internet anywhere. Like we couldn't get internet on our phones and like the stream was like streaming in like 240p because the internet there was just really, really crappy. Um, what was I gonna say? So I actually face revealed on that, her, on that stream first and because we have no crossover I got away with it I think I was watching I can't remember the person's name it, it's, it's like one of those those YouTubers who does like they draw themselves reacting to like videos as opposed to going on camera I, I'm going to say Emmy Rue but that's probably not the correct streamer let me see if I can look that up really quickly let's mute this but anyway, the, the the point of her video, she's like, yeah, I actually face revealed like 10 different times before this, and people still don't think I've actually face revealed. Let's see. Was it Emmy? Yeah, it was Emmy Ru. Okay. Or Emmy Richu. Okay. Yeah, she made a post it in chat. Surprise. Oh, Hi. well. This video without the uh, timestamp on it. So I knew I could get away with things like that, where it's like I've actually face revealed on my own channel. I face revealed on Instagram and in other, other uh, chats or other 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 social medias, and uh, people didn't know. So I kind of like did like a low key face reveal there, and then I did it on the video uh, afterwards. Let's see. Let's bring back up chat. Yeah, a lot of people were ultra simping the first stream. I, I said it before, but it's like, 
I think people would would compare my voice and they would always like you you sound like what this person looks like and they would always pick someone who is like significantly uglier than I actually am so I was like if I just come in here as like a six or a seven they're gonna think I'm like a, a 15 out of 10 let's see any more super chats hmm I don't know this kind of sparked my interest this someone sent me this video with Chelsea Handler who I believe is like Oh, actually, let's do this one first. This is another um, another uh, instance, instant breakup video. I wonder what happened as the result of this. This was just posted recently. So kneeling down to propose and watch what he's got. Yeah, instant breakup there. Can't take a joke. Um, I feel like you should have known that before. Do, or can't take a joke or doesn't have the same sense of humor. Uh, publicly shames you. Instant breakup there. Uh, Soupy Mom, $5 super chat. Where should people who aren't exactly, aren't very extroverted and don't enjoy drinking? I simply don't feel like there's anywhere to go. To, that's, that's to my interest. You really, really have to investigate what you're interested in. That is out in public. And it's much, much harder than it was before. Before... Uh, before the internet, we used to have a lot of different social conventions that people just were out in public to do. Um, you had church, which was a big one. So you're basically like school, going to the same place at the same time every single week. Uh, even even though church does multiple days a week, right, sometimes. But you, you're still going there Sunday. So you have some sort of outlet to meet people and, and talk about things that are in the same philosophical sphere. These days... Um, I almost said Facebook. Where do people, cause like nobody uses Facebook anymore. Nobody who's under like 40 uses Facebook anymore, seriously. So it used to be, whereas if you didn't have a friend group, you could go and like do community events on Facebook or I, I, I'm hesitant to say meetup because meet up, there's like a lot of weird people on that website. Oh great, my chat, uh, my chat glitched. Let's see if I can reload it and then not blast my, my ears with my own stream. Anyway, let's uh, mute this first while I'm messing with the interface. Mm. Pop out chat. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, there's not that many places to like, or not as many social conventions as there were before. And maybe that's something that will change, or maybe it'll just get worse entirely with, with uh, the VR community. But there are Facebook groups. There are things like you can join sports. You can go to the gym. Um, more specifically, because I mentioned, like, I don't think you should be bothering people while they work. I mean, if someone needs, like, a spot, you can spot that person. Maybe, like, you're, if, as long as you're doing some things in public and have reasonable motivation to practice some sort of conversational skills, at six months, a year's time or so, you're probably going to make some sort of friend. Uh, th that that friend or those friends will want to go out and do something, and that's how you, you kind of vet certain situations. Um, or you can do things like group fitness classes, like yoga or... Um, group weightlifting classes or Zumba or that's the person's a, a woman Zumba is probably a great place to, to meet female friends lots of women take Zumba and Zumba is like a really I don't know every, every Zumba class I've seen at gyms are always, they're always like packed with like a million people so very very social events or like yoga classes and things like that I don't date guys who are shorter than me um, it really depends on how tall you are most women are willing to go like two or three inches shorter. So if you're like six foot tall, that's uh, again, you better be very, very good in a lot of other areas if you're on the higher end of that spectrum to make guys want to date you. And same thing for guys. Hi, do you have a girlfriend? Yes, 23 year old female. I've been watching you since 2019. Yeah, on this subject, um, because I'm sure people ask, uh, Brittany Venti and I are dating. Finally, just reveal it. Uh, we we. We're, we're talking, the idea was to have fun and say like, cause somebody, somebody had like thrown out some conspiracy theories about, about it. And it's like, okay, well let's, let's just mess with these people for like the next few months. And then eventually later we'll, we'll reveal it. So we would like randomly put things public that were like, 
oh, we'd like always be at the same event or like one of the big ones was I was like, I was like, okay, they're going to, somebody's going to get it from this and then it's going to be revealed. So I had one of our first conversations that we ever had was about her losing, uh, had a she had like a bag with all of her her DS games and all of her her Game Boy SP games and the Game Boy SP, and she said she left it on the train in New York and it was just gone. So um, I had bought her a, a Game Boy SP and I modded it to have like a I did like a brightness mod and I did like a new screen mod. They look great by the way. Uh, the IPS mods for old consoles. I think it's, somebody was saying that it was like a BlackBerry. Um, a BlackBerry screen, but they, they just make the old games look, look fantastic. So I uh, fully modded a DS for her, and she posted on on Twitter or something like that when she was still allowed to be on Twitter. Uh, thanks to Eliza Blue, she's not. And what's it? I, as I was, because it took me like months to mod it because I was lazy. It, the mod only took about, well, God, it took actually quite a long time. It took about 12 hours to mod it and also... Um, one thing, if you don't know this, when you play old video games like Pokemon or things that have saves, like in, particularly in like the Super Nintendo era, like anything that's from that era, they used to they used to use batteries to hold the save, um, and then they figured out flash memory, and now you don't need a battery to hold the save. So all these games have have batteries that are installed into them that last about 15 to 20, 15 to twenty years. But you know, since those games are older than that, most of them have died at this point. Or are very close to dying. So you have to go in there and solder stuff and replace all the batteries and stuff like that. So, But you also have to sit there and make sure they work. And so I've been playing this 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 Game Boy and making sure it works. And then I got kind of like, once I gave it to her, I was like, oh, this is not mine anymore. And I got super jealous. And so after, like, the day after Christmas, I went and bought my own uh, Game Boy SP and then modded it immediately and, and got my own. And then I posted it on on YouTube community posts, like, hey, isn't it... I, I thought people would say, like, hey, isn't it weird that that Britney got the exact same Game Boy SP that, that Sean got. <laughs> of course, she's in the chat. Uh, thank you, mod for me. Be my Reddit mod. Like, I figured people would, would, would catch on that she, we, the first stream she was posting all over the comments and stuff like that, and people would, would get it. Uh, then, the, the final straw, I was like, okay, this is, this is just not a, this is just not sarcasm that people are going to get, is that for her birthday, which is uh, the 12th of this month, I made her a cake that I make quite a lot. Um, let me bring, see if I can bring this up for people who haven't seen the video. This might actually take a while because it's it's on it's already saved into my massive hard drive of, of videos. Uh, as a, a person who saves everything, by the way, a, any content creator should have like a like a ten terabyte hard drive where they not only save all of their content but they save every single video that they've watched that they would use for content. Uh, because those videos tend to get deleted. Let's see if I can find the picture. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go on Twitter and find it. Okay, here it is. So she posts this cake on, I think, her community tab because she was banned on Twitter at that point. This cake. I full screen this so it looks nicer. And I was like, okay. I showed this cake in a video because I because I had it. It was relevant to the. I don't know if I had planned the video out uh, at that point, but I was like, okay, I have an excuse to put this cake in a video because we're talking about the crossover between uh, artistic appeal and and uh, utility. So the cake has it looks nice. Most people say it looks nice. I'm sure there's one person who's like, no, that's the ugliest cake I've ever seen. But for the most people, say this this cake looks nice. But it also um, tastes wonderful. So it's artistic appeal and it does what it's supposed to do as a cake. So I posted this in a video after she posted it on her, her YouTube community post or whatever. And I figured at this point, somebody in the comments would recognize that this was like a like a tell. Maybe they would say it was a mistake. Maybe they say it was intentional. Nobody recognized it. So I was like, okay, let's let's just let's just reveal it. Who cares? Nobody nobody's fun. All right. Any super chats. And yes, I did post the recipe of this cake in that video. Though um, I didn't really expand on how to actually make it. Basically, you take, you cut up your strawberries. One, you should probably, um, when you're doing decoration stuff like that, there's a couple things you need to know about strawberries. And one uh, is that you do not want to mix water with chocolate. Water with chocolate makes the chocolate look like crap and not uh, work properly. So when you cut these strawberries, you want to make sure that you um, soak them in vinegar and water uh, first. And you could just look at YouTube to see what the the ratios are for that. Uh, let them dry for an hour. 
so that there's no water, or as little water on those strawberries as possible. Then you cut them up and then work on it. And so basically you put one, one strawberry on here and just go in a circle and then do the second row of strawberries, go in a circle, 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 a big strawberry in the middle. Then you put the little almond slices on the side, circle, 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 really, really easy. Any beginner can do it. And as far as I've seen, because I've been making this cake for many, many years, um, it's also a vegan cake. Um, that oddly tastes good. And actually, vegans have gotten bakery goods pre done pretty well, so I think they're pretty safe to eat and, and still taste good. But um, so I've been making this cake for years, and every time I make it, people just flip out. So if you want an easy trick, something that's not that hard to make and also tastes good, you can go to that video that I made, uh, look up the recipe, or the, it comes from a book called The Yoga Plate. You could just look that up, Yoga Plate Chocolate Cake, and there's the recipe. Um, of course, if you don't know how to make cake, there are some baking things that you do have to learn, like you have to uh, put oil on the pan and put flour around. It's like basic basic baking skills. You have to know that. But basically, a beginner could do this cake. All right, now that I haven't read chat for like 45 minutes, let's see what people are saying. Jeez, where's the chat? Strawberries good. Yeah, those actually were pretty good strawberries. Um, yeah, strawberries can really taste like crap, but they can taste great. Uh, Trace Leche's cake. Um, oh, Babish is that guy who made the... Uh, the always, it's always sunny in Philadelphia recipes. That was hilarious. He took a bunch of stupid foods from It's Always Sunny and actually made them look like good-looking recipes. I'd actually like to try some of those at some point. Hmm. I was no wonder think before you see stop posting MGTOW. I stopped posting MGTOW stuff like two and a half years ago before I even knew who Brittany was. So it's going to be an L take on that one. Right, did I miss any super chats? Do I have any more content to go to keep doing what you're doing? I was wondering what the interest would be like, because people always ask me for uh, do like advice streams and stuff like that. I'm wondering what the interest in that is. Like, uh, obviously, I don't know. Like, if it's appropriate to do in full chat, maybe do like a, a super chat donation of ten dollars for some random piece of advice or something like that. I don't know. People want advice. Uh, post question for advice. <laughs> Let's see, Sippy Mo. And that, that goes from, from psychological stuff to a lot of people ask me content creator advice. Unfortunately, what I used to do with content creator stuff is like I would spend lots and lots of time basically with everybody who asked me for content advice. I would just tell them, here's, here's what you do. And then like none of those people would listen. So it's like I just invested three hours in making the, the perfect email on how to be a content creator, and then the person just does nothing with it. So I stopped doing that. And basically, if you're going to get in-depth advice, I'm only going to give it to you if you've already been a content creator for a while. Also, if you probably only if you're a friend at this point, because it's just too much time. It's too much of my time to to use for someone to do nothing with it. Do you think a woman? Do you think that one from the first video tonight should have been honest and said something about his behavior? Wouldn't it help him learn? Thanks. Um, I mean, I would say yes if there wasn't the comment of "Don't embarrass me." It's like "Don't embarrass me." That I, at that point, just run. I, I don't think there's, or or she could talk about his behavior if it's like a text message. Uh, it, it very good reason to um, uh, one if you're, especially if you're doing like Hinge, uh, Hinge or what's the other one? Tinder. Apps I've never, never used a dating app before. I, I I don't like the fact that you can't vet the person's social ability. Uh, it's really hard to do that through text messages. So I've never used dating apps before um, for reasons like that. But if you're going to do that, never ever let the other person drive you to the date. Because if if you if you end up with someone who's like this guy who might be violent towards you for saying something that he doesn't like, then then now you're putting yourself at more risk. So obviously come in separate cars unless you already know the person. Um, but yeah, if, if she like texted him to it afterwards and be like, this wasn't okay, maybe. Um, it, it's hard to say what the obligation is on uh, for, for that person. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count it against her if she said nothing about it, though I tend to, if it's possible, give people feedback if, no, if it feels like no one's giving that person feedback. That you kind of have to be rude and mean to do that. What's Froakie? Oh, it's a Pokemon. Oh, I, I was a Gen Four Pokemon. I haven't played Gen Four in forever. Even that's like old. It's really hard to catch up on games when you're 
doing YouTube. A part of me wants to go back to that time where I had no responsibility and just could just game all day. Oh, she's happy. She no, no. Let, let's 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 red pill on this one. I had to show the old picture of the cake because the, the other cake we made looked inferior. Gen six. Uh, uh Greninja's not Gen six, is it? No, because it's in. Uh, is it? Gen six is Sword and Shield, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, the fight on the, the free Brittany Venti thing is not over. Uh, this is going to be like a very, very long-term thing, obviously. We'll, we'll see what happens. Eliza is still grifting, though. She's pretty much lost her career over this. Like, no one's ever going to take Eliza Blue seriously after she lied about being trafficked as a victim or being a trafficking victim and then uh, tried to censor people for those of you who aren't updated on that stuff. Who's your spirit Pokemon? I don't know. I don't think I play Pokemon enough to to answer that question. Do I agree that school should move to four days a week? I don't I don't know. I think a lot of things that need to be reformed with schools, I don't think if, if I have kids, they'll be going to public school. I'll do everything I can to keep them out of public school. And I will be very, very involved in the teaching. It's kind of unfortunate because it's like, if your kid gets used to an area and then you find out the teachers are teaching some really off stuff, you have to pull them out of that school and then they lose all their friends and stuff. So... I, th I think school should be very, very carefully vetted by the parents, which would be great if you had one parent who stayed home and one parent who worked, because the parent who stayed home could be there to vet the school. I think um, if, if I were some evil Illuminati force, I would make sure that both parents were working as much as possible so they'd have as little time to pay attention to their kids as they could. So if I wanted to insert some, if I wanted schools to raise the kids and I could insert some sort of agenda in there, like uh, what's totally been done so far, uh, it'd be very, very easy for me to do that. And then the parents would be too busy to realize what was going on. Um, 510, uh, Nick Perez, super chatted $2, 510, 120 pounds, considered male anorexia video, please. Uh, yeah, but typically men aren't anorexic. That's more of a female problem, though it does happen. Hmm. Yeah, 510, 120 pounds, that's pretty thin. You should eat more if that's you, or if, I don't know if you're talking about you or somebody else. Let me, uh, full screen. Somebody said a super, super chat that did not show up on the app. So I'm sorry if I missed it. Let's see. It just got sent. How come I'm not being updated? That's here. It's sort of on. Oh, crap. There, that fixed it. Hmm. Oh, that's not how you do it. This is how you do it. That sort of worked. We're interested in your ideas. At... Okay, of course, the second I do that, now shows up on the, on the interface. Uh, ARB? $10 super chat. I think we are interested in your ideas in general about marriage, having kids, and the power that hold, women hold with the state to screw you if they wish. Uh, yeah, that's all certainly a very real danger. That's that's why I don't... Oh, this this isn't full screen. Let's see. Is there a, isn't there a button to like immediately full screen it? Brittany, how do I fix this? That looks fixed enough. Let's see if I small screen it. Okay, at least that's correct. Whatever. Uh, yeah, there's a very, very real, real risk in getting family. Like fa the, the risk of family court is still there, but I don't. I think if you vet properly, the the risk is so astronomically small that you wouldn't have to worry about it. Though again, make your own decisions. Make your own decisions if you want to be in a relationship or not. Though there is consequences to not uh, being in a relationship. I just think you kind of have to decide what's what's for you. Actually, let me. Uh, this, this is what I don't like about the woke stuff. Uh, speaking of Chelsea Handler, I did. This isn't the full video. I had to cut some of it because she said some stuff that wasn't YouTube friendly. I said some stuff that could that could get me age restricted about certain personal activity. Let's say. I would. With with toys. All right. So this is this is Chelsea Handler talking about how great it is to not have children. Uh, let's see. I wake up at 12.30 p.m. and get ready. For All right, as a person who wakes up at like 1.30 p.m. typically, it, it's not fun. I've, I've wanted, I've been trying to fix that forever. Uh, not great to wake up super late. It sounds, it's great at first, but then it's like now you can't do anything that other people do and you're constantly being asked to, to wake up on four hours of sleep because everybody else goes to bed at, 
at latest 12 and you're going to bed at 4 or 5. So have fun being asked to do things in the morning. That that Chrissy Mare thing I did was at 11 a.m. and I was like dying while doing it because I only got like three hours of sleep. For a busy day of doing whatever the f*** I feel like, I put on my most impractical and stylish shoes. Yeah, and certainly if you don't have a lot of obligations, you have a lot of freedom. But what I've noticed is that when you have a lot of freedom, uh, you don't, people tend to do nothing with it and don't really have that much fun. Now, I guess if you're if you're a creative and can be very, very good with your scheduling, you'll have things that are fun to do. But I think most people uh, need some of their day planned out. Uh, common law marriage. Is common law marriage a thing? I don't know. Pick good relationship partners and a lot of this bad stuff won't happen to you. Or if you don't want to do that, then just don't be in a relationship. Since I won't be chasing a child around the grocery store, I go to my fave spot in Paris to grab a croissant. I do a meditation sesh on the plane since I have no screaming kids, allowing me all. I don't know if you're if you have kids that are constantly screaming and being undesirable or doing things you don't want. I think this as as a person who has no children, I think that's just bad parenting. Kids should be reasonably desirable, and if, I think if you're letting your kids piss you off that much, you you should probably learn some different parenting techniques. The time in the world to become enlightened. The weightlessness of my existence has granted me superhuman powers. I teleport myself back home. Then I get ready for a night out with whatever hot guy I met on Raya that morning. Yeah, again, uh, I, I don't get the the be with a new person every other day thing. It just seems like you're going to be a, a giant mess, and it's like a real uh, crapshoot of like, is this person going to be good or not? <laughs> And then also, is this person going to have a disease, or what if, what if the condom breaks, or what if they lied about being on birth control, or something like that? Uh, it seems to be like a lot of unnecessary worrying for that for something that's probably not going to be that much fun. Versus like a, a long-term relationship. I call up a babysitter and tell. Also, you, you'd be splitting your ability to actually have long-term relationships if you're constantly having one-night stands, or or very very short term relationships or that I don't need her since I still don't call the babysitter I don't need her that's what she said uh, I'm gonna have to cut this video at a certain point I have kids now it's time for a workout so I hit Mount Everest for a quick climb I invent a time oh okay so she invents a time machine she fires a gun and with with horrible uh, gun skills if you find that video you can see her horrible use of the firearm but uh, YouTube wants to be very political and so any any sort of firearm thing will get you restricted on YouTube so I'll let you look up that video for yourself let's see do you know how to fight sort of um love uh Mauro ten dollar super chat uh ten Canadian dollars what's our dollars that's some Brazilian thing maybe uh no fab slash retention um I don't know. Depends. If, if you're having problems, then maybe. Um, maybe check your adult content use. Especially if you have, like, if you have issues getting into a relationship, maybe you should lower the amount of adult content that you view because I think it's probably killing your motivation. Uh, love the Audio Technicas. I think, what, Audio Technica, sure, a microphone. That's how you know I'm a YouTuber. Everybody has these because they're, like, the reasonably priced things. Pesos, that's a, is that R? The the R dollars. I don't know why, you, does, did, they, did they fix that now? Because like, the, YouTube will be like, they donated some random currency they don't know. Can you just convert it to dollars so I know how much it is? Uh, $50 super chat from you, Knuckles Forever. Hey man, I admire you and wholehearted do donation mate from Cali. Also, any advice for a 20 year old guy who wants to learn on what to invest? Uh, no. Also, uh, Cali, man, no, no, the the advice I would have is to start watching people who are really good at that stuff. Um, I think Dave Ramsey's really good for like how to live within a budget. And if you can't live within a budget and, and learn how to save money, learn how to spend appropriately and spend within your means, you probably shouldn't be investing. Uh, just my personal opinion. That's something that you learn first. And uh, as for actual investing advice, I haven't really found that yet because it, it's it's actually more economically fruitful just to invest my knowledge in learning YouTube as opposed to stocks. I'm probably going to eat my words later, but uh, no, I don't know that much about that. I, I actually make more return by investing into YouTube knowledge versus stocks. So ask me that in 10 years.
I don't know if Dave Ramsey's investment advice is the best. I would I would look on just start watching channels that talk about that, and you would basically have to build your own skill. Uh, what I've heard from a, a lot of different investment people is don't let like stockbrokers or other people invest your money. Invest your money yourself and be very, very aware of every, where everything's going. That seems to be reasonable. Look up the companies that you're investing in. Make sure they're, they're decently run companies. Let's see. Hmm. Do I have anything else? See, here's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of just, we've gone for an hour and 10 minutes, longer than I expected. I was like, this stream's gonna last 30 minutes and it's gonna be over. Um, so I'm glad it's lasting an hour and 10, but I don't think I'm gonna let it go over two hours. Let's see. Um, I was afraid of just like running out of content instantly. There are some other things, let's see. Like I wonder, people tend to listen to Mr. Beast a lot about like behind the scenes, like content creation stuff. Let's see if I have anything that's like, hold on a second. Oh, we're Streamlabs. There it is. Oh, I'm already at the right thing. Let's see. Did I have any things? <laughs> oh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was, um, let me bring up the video. Sorry if things are so, I think what streamers do who are res more responsible have uh, their videos preloaded into tabs so they get to them really quickly. The idea is that you have as little dead air as possible, but I don't know how much it matters if people are just watching this in the background with some video game playing. Let's see. So there's a moment in that video, the um, the the gym bro video, where the the, the girls are. Um, what's this? Why is that the most? Apparently, um, hold on a second. Apparently, this picture was the most replayed part. That's uh, interesting. The one about dressing more modestly, and that will have an effect on how people view you, despite what people say, despite what every feminist says. Like how guys should learn how to blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, but the guys who are doing the, the weird stuff aren't going to do that. So it's better just to, like, like even even it's like, oh, I, I should be able to walk down a dark alley in the middle of the night half drunk. Uh, guys should just learn not to commit crimes. Yeah, well, the guys who are going to commit those crimes don't care. So you should protect yourself. You, sh you should be running a little defense. Anyway. I'll go back to finding the moment I wanted to talk about. One of the things I like in content is is framing. If you don't know what framing is, it's basically the short uh, definition is how you present your content or how you present your information. So like somebody will, like there's a picture that, that describes fr <laughs> framing where like different captions will, will, will uh, describe the image differently. So there's a picture of like a snake and it's got a fish in its mouth. And it says like, obviously the snake is eating the fish, but it says like the mainstream media framing is like fish, uh, snakes save fish from pool of water. Let's see. Uh, let's see, find a super chat, if that, then this. Yo, great channel, do you ever feel like you're fighting a lost cause? Also, what motivates you to keep making these videos? Uh, no, I don't think I'm fighting for a lost cause. We're winning in this case. Um, I mean, even if you, something I learned from martial arts is that even if you think you're going to lose, you want to make sure that your opponent suffers as much as possible before you go down. And I think that not only will, one, it, it deters people from attacking you because like, hey, if, if if you attack me and then I fight back and then cause you some sort of damage, like that that's going to really prevent you from doing that to somebody else. Like in terms of like, if you look at predators, like good predators will, unless it's like a bear, bears can just do whatever because they're big. But like tigers will be very, very careful about how they attack prey. So they always go behind. They'll always like be very careful about making sure it doesn't see them. And then they attack because they want, if a tiger breaks its leg trying to get some food, well, then it's dead. You can't break a leg in the wild. So even if this is a losing battle, which I don't think it is, I think over time th this will be uh, $5 dollars is one USD. It's called Reyes. is isn't really much. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, pff, I, I don't know. I think if... If you're trying to be nice, it's it's relative to what you what you can do. I think there's um, I don't know if I talked about this on stream where it's like if you're trying to be charitable, and maybe this will appear in a video. There's different levels of charitability. So on on the lowest level, let's say you don't have very much money. Well, at some point you probably have the money to host a party or something like that, and that that's your donation to your community is having a, a single fun event. If you're this is something that my one of my uncles did. One of my uncles is, is, is decently well off, is at least upper middle class. 
And so what he did was design his house fully to be like a house that is the place where we could have family events. If there's a some sort of football game or like something going on, he's got TVs in every room. He's got like a a kitchen design that that makes it so that multiple people can bring food or set food up uh, as like a potluck style. He's got uh, very wide and open rooms that are easy to to congregate in. He's got a pool, so that would be like a, a sort of charitable na- donation to the family. Like, okay, now we have a place where it's fun or where it's acceptable and fun to have a party at. On the higher level, like let's say you've got like millions or billions of dollars, that'd be like creating organizations or creating infrastructure or inventing new things that that serve the public good. So. Um, you know, if 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 uh, ten R dollars is is not that much, but it's it's what you can afford, I think that's great. I think that's still that still counts as charity. I think that's great. Um, obviously, if if you if you can't financially handle it, please do not donate to me. It's more important that you survive than you give me a couple bucks. Um, oh, as for the what motivates me to keep making these videos, I don't, I don't know. I like. Things like this, where things like where people say in the last video, where especially with like the obesity videos, even though maybe I do this a little bit too much, where people say I, I watched your videos uh, and a, a year ago, and now I'm 50 pounds less. I work out more. My life's going better. Things like that. Um, whether this, this this culture war is won or not, things like that are very motivating. Did I have a point? Oh yeah, I was going to go over this. <laughs> um, getting to to make a. Uh, drew a follow video twice. Did I? I might just have. Okay. This is where it is. So, if you watch the Drew a follow video that I made, I she's like trying to dunk on men. It's like, see, I, I'm stronger than all the men, too. And she, this is like a 415 uh, hip thrust. I don't know if that's a good hip thrust. I've never done that exercise before. It seems like a very, very inconvenient exercise to do. Um, hmm. Sorry if the audio is kind of low. Shooting a video to be sexualized. Also, for comparison to the first girl I showed in this video. Yeah, obviously, like backward angle. This person's trying to be looked at, and then she like complains that this guy in the background asked her what machine to go on. Uh, again, you you unless the guy like assaults you, you, like you don't have the right to complain that someone's looking at you when you're asking people to look at you. Shot her. Oh, <laughs> here's something that. Speaking of that, to to go on another tangent. Let's see. Hold on. Let me, let me mute this. I saw a, a video that was relevant. Did I save it? Oh my god, I did not save it. I have to go into my... Uh, but let me, let me finish this point first, and I'll, I'll get to the tangent. Because I'm going to have to go and look for it. Where is it? There it is. So I, I used uh, Drew a follow as a, as a negative example in the video where she's like trying to dunk on men. TikTok Let's see. There it is. So she's like, I have this great deadlift. I can deadlift uh, 225, I think it was. And God, I started lifting. I think I'd only been lifting for two or three months at that point. It's like, I can deadlift 225 as a one rep max. Uh, and then I can do it without dropping the weights. And she's just, like trying to say she's stronger than all men. And she does a very, very um, basic level, like a beginner can, can deadlift that much weight. Now, for a woman, 225, is that's probably at the higher end. But if you're trying to say you're stronger than men, uh, not great. And so I took that and reframed it. So it's like the one you can have negative framing here where it's like, yeah, this person's being a little bit arrogant. But then I can reframe it as a positive thing because as, as a by comparison to this clip where this person's obviously trying to sexualize, you move to this clip where this person's obviously not trying to sexualize. So you can show a good thing and a bad thing with the same clip. I think that's that was funny. There's a Ryan Long video about that where it's like, I'm going to send the same piece of content to Fox News, CNN, and MSNBC, and they're all going to say, uh, use that piece of content to prove whatever narrative that they're talking about. So that was funny. Um, anyway, let me find that that thing that was relevant to uh, Jessica Forty Nine, who's well, I don't know. It, it, it Jessica, that that girl who like said um, feral, feral, feral. Let me show for people who didn't see the video. Uh, bring that back up. This girl here, who um, let's look at this. Yeah, there are multiple points. Which, crap. Let me see. Multiple. This, this is not like the right angle to film out if you don't want to be sexualized. Because if, if you make any sort of mistakes, you can see everything that you wouldn't want somebody to see. Um, but this person did like the feral, feral, feral. She had like a a, a comment in from one of her, her favorite creators, Pokimane. 
Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try to read chat. Content is not provoking beneficial young men. Would you like to, would like to see you on a couple of podcasts? Yeah, I'm working on that. Dating culture stays meta. Yeah, we'll see. I've been saying no to that a lot. Um, and, and by the way, not like I get asked every five seconds about uh, what podcast to be on, but like usually if you get asked, you, you need to say yes, but I've been saying no because I wasn't ready to, to, to be on camera quite yet. So some of that will change. Also, uh, while I'm looking for this, which I uh, found it. Oh, there it is. Let me just talk about this before I said what I was going to say. So I, I just thought this was really funny. Um, Socks sexually lies in people without her consent. Now, in Pokimane's case, it sort of makes sense. I think she did this in, uh, maybe it was in response to this, but someone deep faked her. I, that's, God, that's that's going to be a weird future where you can deep fake content creators. Um, that's not something I'm looking forward to. So maybe she was responding to that deep fake thing. But like, again, very, very ironic for this person to uh, say, don't sexualize people without their consent when when Jessica clearly gives people's consent to sexualize her by having a a fan house where she takes um, very what we would call implicitly sexual, not overtly sexual, but kind of implicitly sexual uh, content where it's like you would only be there if you're looking to sexualize that person. So why are you complaining? Um, was I going to talk about something? Before? I was going to say this is uh, by the way, speaking of of helping out the channel. Uh, one of the most helpful things you can do for the channel is um, sending ideas. That's something I'm constantly looking for, and I used to get this, if you wonder why videos don't get made that much, is because uh, people don't send me as much uh, content. So if you if you see something, say something. Uh, I think that's probably not the right words to say. I'm probably going to cancel for saying that. Uh, but if you, if you see a piece of content that you think would go on this channel, um, Usually videos are the highest tier of content. Like I'm looking for videos to react to. I typically, I can't start a video out with an article. I can use an article as like a supplement for a video. I can use it for a live stream. But if you see something good, uh, please send it to my, you can send it to my Twitter or you can send it to, DMs are open on Twitter as of now. Or you can send it to my request email, which can be found on my about page. And let me bring that up just to make it easy. Um, just so that, do what we call in the business uh, reducing friction. Actually, let me bring this up on Google. Let's see. Yeah, it's still constantly. Like, now, by the way, just because I you send me content doesn't mean I'm going to cover it. But certainly, oh, hmm, I'm gonna have to take a picture of this. That, that's it, it's it's tbys request. Wait, no, it's think before you sleep request at gmail.com. I'll just say it out loud, uh, and it's on my about page. So um, yeah, just because just because you send a piece of content doesn't mean I'm going to make a video on it. Usually, I don't send anything if I'm, if I'm going to make a video on it because I like to be very very secretive about the type of content that's coming up because it's more of a surprise factor. Um, but usually, what I have to do is look through lots and lots of content to find one that would be appropriate for a video that a lot of people would enjoy. Uh, but but please do. Um, one thing I don't want to sort of kind of be like a negative is like I don't want like current reality people ask me to cover like milf manor like current reality tv shows that are like 11 episodes or 12 episodes so it's like what 10 hours of content and then there, there are current event things that people are covering on live stream those do not make good videos what what would make a good video in that case if it's like a long-running show is shows like the island which i believe the island was 13 episodes but it was already a couple it was already like six or seven years old and so whoever was going was to cover it as a current event had already done that and so I could easily get away with spending two weeks watching the entire show and time stamping it and then organizing the narrative around it without people getting bored of it because it's a current event. Hmm. Is six foot five, 200 pounds of 50 pounds of solid muscle good? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm still a beginner at weightlifting. I mean, I know exercise from like a science perspective because I have a degree in it. Um, and I know, like, I know a lot of the basic, like, I know how to, to weightlift and get results. Uh, at least at, at a at a basic level, because I I studied all that in school, and I studied all of that after school as well. But as far as like, um, what's a good lift here? Uh, what's perfect? To, I mean, I know I know generally decent technique, but but um, I don't know. That's maybe that six five two fifty of all. Like, what's your body fat percentage? That's an easier way to ask to answer the question. Like, guys should be for. Fitness level, ten to twelve percent body fat. 
I, I don't know if it's very safe to go below 10% as a guy. I know a lot of people do for competitions, but then they will, they'll report things like, I get cold really easily. Uh, I don't, I get sick, like all these kinds of things like the, I don't know. I don't think it's that safe to, be, to stay below 10% on body fat for very long. Or to like, I don't know if it's safe to constantly have a six pack. My friend is a 16 year old girl and she can deadlift 270. Well, it really depends on, on how tall she is. Obviously the shorter you are, the easier, the less, uh, the less lever arm you have, so you, it's mm, the less height that you have to go up. So I don't know. So your height will affect how much you can you can lift. So everybody's got their different maximums based on their genetics. Uh, let's read super chats. I've missed a lot of. Uh, let's see. Uh, Twenty dollars super chat from RD, RDE Josh. Hey man, love your content. You do a especially great job on the topic of obesity. You're harsh, but you sound genuinely concerned about. And you never come off like you're using it as a cover for hating fat people, and that's rare. Um, yeah, part of that is it's kind of like a mix where I have two specialties. One, I have uh, specialties in fitness because I went to school for it and taught fitness for years. And then two, uh, I know a lot about psychology, and that's where those kind of things interlap. So it's very, very easy for me to constantly come up with different aspects of losing weight or different parts of the struggle. So it's like, do I suck on toes? No, that's gross. Jeez. You're watching too much adult content. <laughs> Whoever said that. Um, so what will happen typically is that, like, let's say 100 people have the same problem. I say one thing that will generally resolve the problem for 50 people. But then there's like that other half of that, those other segments of 10%, like those other, like, here's the 10% here, 10% here, 10% there, that all have different aspects of the problem and they don't really know how to solve it. And so what I'll do is I'll cover in different videos on how to hit those different aspects of that problem. Um, and then one of those was, hey, if you're not sleeping enough, you're not, if like if you're overstressing yourself, constantly drinking coffee because you only get four hours of sleep a night, you're probably gonna have a much higher, uh, harder time losing weight. So uh, especially like it's really, really hard to build muscle if you don't sleep enough. So uh, if you're not getting gains, then uh, sleep more, eat more protein, eat more protein at different parts of the day. I find that even if you're not doing a, a recomposition, it's actually more effective to eat protein three to four times a day as opposed to once or twice. And you want like significant amounts depending on your body weight or depending on your, your lean mass weight. And so you can look up those, those charts somewhere else. I don't know that off the top of my head, but somewhere between like, uh, 30 and 50 grams of protein three to four times a day is what you'll need. Um, and you really have to be careful about not wasting calories, not getting things that are like, like be careful of things like sour cream or like just dumping stuff like that on your food because uh, sour cream has no protein in it. So other things that are like that. Chocolate, uh, be careful how much you chocolate because chocolate also has no protein in it. So you're, you're, you're eating, if you eat this many calories in this direction, then you still have to eat your protein calories and that's always going to come with so. Be very, very careful about how you, you plan your food out. I don't remember what's relevant to that. Uh, yeah, the LBC thing. Uh, Twenty dollars five dollars super chat. Thank you, uh, Stanley. Two dollars super chat. I'm in crippling debt. Please take my money. Uh, I guess. Let me just, let's see. Appreciate all the videos, Conrad. Ten dollars super chats. Uh, Ivan Henderson. Ten dollars super chat. Content is really thought provoking and beneficial to young men. But let's see. I think I already talked about that one. Let's see. Wow, you have a face. Yeah, see, you. Uh, I can probably face reveal like 10 more times and people say, oh my God, this is what the person looks like. I think at least 10 more times. Stop making fun of me, Brittany. I do not eat that much sour cream. That's just an example. That's something that's not relevant to my life. Let's see. All right. Hmm. I should do the Hassan thing where I play someone else's video in the background and then go take a, go to the bathroom or something like that. You like the peanut butter kid with sour cream all over his mouth? No, that's not true. She's lying. Let's see. I've been looking at wanting to know what you think of. I've already said what I thought about Andrew Tate. I think I said it even in this stream. I don't like the guys who say it's okay to cheat if you're rich. I think, you know, broken clock, there was, there was a way of explaining this, where it's like a lot of people have correct ideas. Oh, here's, here's how I want to explain it. And this probably 
won't be in a video because these types of this is why like there's lots of content that doesn't do well as videos or like it'll get demonetized or that that wouldn't be worth spending two weeks of my time to make the video on. By the way, um, just just to re-promote, if a, a part of the a, a piece of the reason that videos are taking longer and longer to make these days is because people just don't send me as much content anymore to to review. So if you want videos to get released faster, um, it's a lot easier if I if people just say, hey, look at this, versus me having to find something that's interesting. So uh, the more content people send me to look at, uh, the less work I have to do vetting content that is interesting. So anyway, um, what was I talking about? Uh, so th this something is something that would not work in a video. There's, there's a lot of people who have ideas that are correct, and then they just take it the wrong direction. So one of those ideas, I think, strongly is systemic racism. Systemic racism is a correct idea. But the, the source of the problem is not redlining from 50 years ago or all these things that they talk about. This is, what I would say systemic racism is, it, systemic racism is, is like, how about like every, every single rap video you watch or every single um, piece of media that, that's catered towards black people is like, do a lot, drugs, drugs are cool, dealing drugs is cool, committing crimes is cool. Um, look at all this hyper-sexualized content to, to a point where it's like unfair. Like if, if I have to worry about showing that that girl, like, like I have to worry about stuff like this. Let me see if I can bring it back up. Him, non-sexual way, shot her dead. Like, like this stuff. This is stuff I have to worry about as a content creator. Like, am I going to get demonetized or have have a problem for posting that? Even though, like, if you're Nicki Minaj, you can you can basically film a softcore porno, and then you'll get fully monetized by everything. So there's lots of things that are like that. Um, there's Oh, it, promoting like content like here, it, it's so cool to have a million sexual partners. It's so cool to be poor and broke and and waste money on the newest devices instead of saving. So so there have been groups of, and it's not just black people, it's other, it's other groups of people too. But there have been groups that have been targeted by media organizations. There was that CIA thing that, that imported cocaine into black communities, I think in the 80s, to, to try to take those people that, that Planned Parenthood has has issues with that. They, they finally denounced Margaret Sanger as a massive racist. So there, there are things that, that are like that for that. And and so it, it's real in that sense. But the the, the systemic racism, because there's more white people than there are of other races, no. No, that, that's just a way of being racist towards white people, I think. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of things like, okay, the wage gap. The wage gap is true. I mean that, that that's a valid idea. They're, men technically make more than women. It's just not because uh, of oppression. Oppression. It's because women make different choices in the in the market. So th they'll do a lot of things like that. And I think people like Andrew Tate are very similar. Where it's like, yeah, this this thing here that you're talking about, it definitely exists. The the solution or the source of the problem that you're talking about is wrong. I don't think the solution, uh, Myron's solution to to getting a good marriage is to have the abundance mentality where you have sex with 50 women before you commit to one, if his listeners can even get that, because only only, only the, probably the top 10% of men could have, could get that many different partners. I feel like the system, yeah, uh, $20 super chat from measles, please. I feel like the system perfectly takes the ideas the wrong way, like feminism being men versus women instead of actually trying to better women. Uh, like philosophically for example yeah that's that's why i think these are are it's done like that way on purpose to um it, it's one of the reasons why i got out of of red pill and migtow content is because like okay it's very bad there is a problem with family court but the the solution that they're taking with that is let's present content in a way where we only show women doing bad things well of course when then whether you you, you could be the greatest person in the world, and if you only show a certain group of people doing bad things, you're going to breed hatred for that group. In the same way, feminism, 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 uh, feminism only showed men as, as rapists and criminals and people who abuse women. Well, yeah, then you're going to get a lot of women who hate men because of that. Um, MGTOW's right about certain things, but not everything. Like, again, the broken clock's right twice a day. Uh, the Conrad, I definitely think you look, you look that way given how you sound, my brain thought you looked a certain way because of your voice. Yeah, there's some voice plays into appearance, I think. A little bit. High body counts is not a flex. I agree on either end. It just means that, like, if you, well, I don't know, no, even even if you're not trying to get married, that this, even if you're not trying to have some sort of stable relationship, I think 
it's just like now you have diseases and shit. Let's see. Who's Bronson? From Perfect Strangers in the 80s? I don't know what that is. Smash the like button. I guess, yeah, maybe that. Let me, let me get a nice uh, long pause before I can think of what else to talk about. For one, and again, I'm, I'm going to, whether this, this goes on for another 25 minutes or whatever, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it at two hours. How does dating in 2023 work? I don't know. I think people should just go back to tr tradition and go back to doing things the, things the old way. But it's difficult because everything does, everybody does everything, everything on the internet now. I think it's it might require some people who are, and this might be for people in the chat, money is not the only way to be charitable. There's also, there's tons of ways to be charitable that, that don't involve money. One of the ways you can be charitable is if you're a very social person, start creating social events. Start start making parties, start creating or like sports teams or something like that. Someone's got to do that. And now you're creating an excuse for people to, to hang out. Or maybe there's something that doesn't exist that you say, hey, this would be, oh, how do I take this and can I move that? There we go. That way it's not covering my face. It was doing that in the last video. There we go. There, that's better. And every time someone donates, it's not like annoying or it's not like covering the screen. I wish I would have fixed that earlier. But um, yeah, you can, if you're the person who is very sociable and has that capability, you can you can quite easily solve the problem of all these people are talking about. It's like, just create social events. Any collaborations soon? I don't know. Let's see. But that that's the thing I need, I think needs to get fixed is people need to go out more and talk to people more and go to go to events more. And then meet new people, or make friends, or do do things do things in public that you enjoy doing. And if you don't, if you say, because I hear a lot of people like, well, I don't enjoy doing anything in the public, then you need to investigate more. It could even be things like uh, playing Magic the Gathering or something like that. There's, I think, Ma yeah, doesn't Magic the Gathering have these big social communities though? They went woke recently, so I don't know about that. Or you can go to Super Smash Brothers tournaments. Even if you're not that good, there are a lot of tournaments that I've looked at have like beginners tournaments and then they have like the more advanced player tournaments. That a lot of those happen happen in bars and stuff like that. Just just be around people in, in, in public settings that you enjoy. And if again if you're if you play video games a lot, then um, there, there's there's still a ton of places you can go do that in public. Uh, scurvy DK, while I'm in red pill suckers myself, I've been it's really draining after a while. I've been focusing more on locales like Cyrax because that, I don't know who that is. Let's do a quick. Uh, uh, why won't it let me copy and paste? Let's see. Who? Yeah, I guess one of the negatives of, of live streaming. Hmm. Can a guy be a lol cow? When did you stop being MGTOW? I don't know, like two and a half years ago. I don't really remember when the exact transition was. I think it was like two and a half, three years ago. Probably almost three years ago at this point. Let's see, I wanted to thank you for being famous. I'm applying for college and should make it in. Uh, be very, very careful about who you allow teaching you, by the way. If you have to... Go I think really the only reason people should go to college is if if the the job market requires a degree. Like if you're going to be a doctor, or if you're going to be a lawyer, where there's like legal repercussions if you don't have a degree. Otherwise, most of the things you can learn in college, you can learn either in a trade school or learn by yourself. Like if you're going to college, learn how to be a writer, you're wasting your time. There are plenty of YouTube videos on how to write. There are plenty of you. You really shouldn't be going for the person who's teaching because because you have so much access to the best people who, who do what you want to do, there's no reason to go to college for that. If you're a college teacher, it means you failed, unless that college teacher happened to already be successful in the field. But there are plenty of people who teach things like writing that would uh, be available on YouTube easily, and then it would be free. And then you just practice writing stories. Or if it's um, like programming, you can go to boot camps and stuff like that. And wh why would you learn programming from a four-year university where they were, they're going to make you basically spend two to two and a half years in general ed where you're taking bullshit classes like I don't know like I had to take Chicano studies you have to take again I, history is important but you can look up history on the internet I don't need history to code maybe at least coding history what else was another BS class I took 
uh, for me, uh, high level math was 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 a waste of time. Though it wouldn't be a waste of time for coding because you don't need high level math to do kinesiology. As far as I'm aware, maybe if you're a physical therapist, you need some math. But like, I don't need the the broad spectrum of every every single point of calculus or every single point of trigonometry to to properly understand physical therapy. And what you could probably do is cut out like the 90 percent of the material and say, here's how you calculate this angle here for this type of move. Like if you're doing like maybe biomechanics, okay, biomechanics you would need math, but you don't need. I don't need uh, cultural studies to to fix people's broken bones or rehab them. Engineer, do you do you need a degree for engineering? Can't you just build shit and do a, a GoFundMe or not GoFundMe, a Give Send Go or should I? Not Kickstarter either. Fun, one one uh, fundraising platform that that's not woke, and I think um, well, Kickstarter doesn't vet content, so you Kickstarter is a, basically a replaceable format, so you can just anybody can make it. Same thing with Patreon; anybody can make a Patreon. Like it, it doesn't do what YouTube does, which is very very hard to do, which is use an algorithm to find content people want to see. Um. I remember watching it to John Barella. I remember watching it back in 2019 with the MGTOW content. They always diagnose the correct issue, the issue correctly, but I could never agree with the solution. In some of their tax, yeah, I think some of their taxes are incorrect. And again, only once I, I I learn more about humanization, learn more about different influencer tactics. Like I just said, like, hey, you can't just only post people in a bad light. You're, you're gonna one, you're gonna black people, kill people. Also, you're going to create uh, lots of hatred. Uh, for that group, and they might not necessarily just well, probably uh, doesn't describe the entire group in that case. Let's see, read for dating for a while. It's been for, okay. I've already read that one. Where to find a trad man who wants six kids? Uh, not on, uh, not on Hinge or Tinder. Let's see, any of these that I missed? Lost nine kgs in the last year. How much is eighty-seven kg? Calculator. Just seventy seventy-nine times two point two. And one seventy-three depends on how tall you are. That's pretty good. That's pretty normal weight. Oh, we were talking about college, right? Uh, Robert Murphy, twenty dollars super chat. I'm a civil engineer, but I went I went to a school that was not only one of the cheapest in the state, but had mostly professors that profes were professionals. And yes, engineers need licenses that mostly require that. That, that sucks. Well, I guess that makes sense because you're building a bridge. You want to make sure. Um, the bridge actually works. So I guess that makes sense in that case. But if you're becoming like an engineer to be an inventor, you probably don't need a degree for that. Because he, he said, um, yeah, civil engineer. Yeah, that, that makes sense. What are your thoughts about party girls who have become red pill? It really depends on the individual example. Some of them might be pick me's or just saying that because they're chameleons. I think chameleons are now out of date where they now use pick me or grifter. Yes, I did read the King James Version of the Bible. What do you think about the Bible? Um, yeah, I read the entire Bible, but I forgot a lot of it. So, I don't know. Listen to the Jordan Peterson things on that stuff. I think um, the the call to get rid of traditional values, especially values that have lasted thousands of years, is a really, really, really dumb idea. And a lot of people saying, well, it's let's be progressive. Let's do new things. Well, if you've paid attention, uh, especially in terms of, like if you're creative, like not everybody's creative, so it's, it's, it might be hard to understand this. But if you paid attention, most new ideas are terrible. If like if you look at people say like I'm a YouTuber, oh, I've got this. Like the worst, <laughs> the worst thing I can hear as someone who uh, who's, who gives advice to people who are new creators is like, oh my God, I've got this really um, niche idea. Like I've got this new thing. 99% of the time that new thing is like, oh, people aren't doing this. People aren't doing it because it's a stupid idea. So most new creative adventures are stupid. So why would you exchange uh, your old ideas that have been tested through time and have been found out through thousands of years, probably, of, of people making mistakes, living and dying uh, due to certain principles? Um, why would you get rid of that for some new idea that's untested. Why don't you test it in a small area and see if it works? And if it does, it'll it'll propagate on its own versus like, oh, we need to do all these new things just because old thing bad. Uh, current thoughts on Roma Army. Uh, I didn't I say that in the video. I was uh, nice in the video because I was giving her a chance in, in that recent video, the apology video. Nice to her because I was giving her a chance to like 
break bread and make amends like hey maybe we shouldn't like fling crap at each other but she uh refused in a community post but she basically is like like what her, let, let me look at her her current content she really doesn't get that many views that's where this is going was oops that's <laughs> oh yeah, that's why she's pissed maybe it's just because it's my account but I typed in her name and like my, my video was the first one that came up let's see yeah let's see I don't know, 100k views on a million on a million subscribers that's that's pretty low hmm some of these are actually doing pretty well but because her content's not very monetizable she probably makes most of her money through her pa her patreon content so I think she says a lot of things there in the manosphere um that are just there to, to filter men into our patreon account let's see was I gonna answer a different question drag queen story times I'll I'll talk about that in a different stream like I've already got one planned out for that so I'll, I'll address things of that nature there mm. oh someone asked about just pearly things I don't I haven't seen that much from just pearly things that isn't very like in the same way that Hassan very much toes the political line of the left doesn't really have very many ideas of his own or doesn't really add to the meta I think pearly things does that quite a bit too though I haven't watched that much of her content again I'm generally not interested in like the the red pill fresh and fit style content it's very boring at this point Coach Red Pill is that the guy who um, got captured in Ukraine or something like that? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Hmm. Abba and Preach. Uh, well, they're better than Fresh and Fit. I think they won that battle. But I don't really watch. Again, these are content creators that I've watched in the past, but I don't really watch anymore. So I, I don't. I don't think it's smart to throw an opinion on it. Though I know I've been preaching, I have a lot of crossover. That's all I know. Mm. Let's see. Pagani BC. <laughs> is that from the uh, the video where the girl is like, "Oh, I don't want that much. I just want a a guy who can give me a five thousand square foot property on what five acres of land? Like, holy crap! Like, and she's like, I think she lived in like." Where's Cincinnati? Is that Ohio? Ohio, the state that everybody dumps on. Um, she she was a model in some sort of big city. And like so obviously you're gonna be living in places that are very expensive. In California, a five thousand square foot house in any sort of decent area, basically in an area that's not out in the middle of nowhere, would be like two or three million dollars. And then she wants like, oh, I, I'll I'll i I want a Pagani, which is like a million which I think it's a multi million dollar car, but I'll settle for a five hundred thousand dollar car. Which is like ridiculous. Uh, are we moving towards a more polygamous society? I hope not. I think I think um, polygamy or polyamory are not the things to worry about. I think artificial relationships are probably the more thing uh, thing to worry about. Or it's it's kind of like we'll we'll see what happens when VR gets better. We'll see what happens when AI gets better. It, it's probably too early to tell if it's that's a positive thing or a negative thing. I do not have a motorcycle. Would you ever go on Timcast or Flashcast? Uh, Flashcast, yes. Timcast, I don't know. I'm a little bit unhappy about recent events involving Timcast. Obviously, I have a stake in it because Brittany and I are dating. Um, but I, I don't like that he's basically conveniently ignored a lot of stuff. And, and I mentioned this for probably most of you who didn't see the, the the Christy Mayer thing is that um, Tim will do that like James Bond villain thing where he'll announce his plan before he does it and so what he did with the Jack Murphy stuff before he didn't talk about it was like he's like guys the best thing you can do is if you want something to go away is just shut up about it for about two weeks and people will forget which is true it's just not address it shut up for about two weeks and people will just forget it and it all goes away and then Tim proceeded to do that with Jack Murphy and he's, he's did the same thing with Eliza. He just shut up about it and didn't talk about it. Or, or kind of shifted the narrative where it's like, 
he he mentions things where it's like he definitely knows a lot of what's going on. He's just not saying it because um, would it ever go on Jesse Lee Peterson's show? I don't know. But um, like he definitely knows what's going on. He's just not saying he knows what goes what's going on. And and like because you can tell he's like specifically avoiding Brittany when she's like the main. Uh, character in this story, at least for the first part, and only talking about the courting, or it's like, oh, it's something about Chrissy Mary, she runs a show called, called Simpcast. Like, well, why would you know about Simpcast if you didn't know about this event? Like, if you're so um, unknowledgeable about this. So I think he knows more than he's saying, but he's just, he like, he, he shifted the topic to, oh, this is about Eliza lying about her story. I don't think very many people give a, a crap about the concept of, of Eliza, Eliza lying about her story. People care about the censorship. She can, I mean, it's not good to, to fake a sex trafficking story, but the story is about censorship, not about whether she was a, a a victim or not. And so that's really where the main problem is there. And the fact that Tim ignored that entirely uh, makes me not very happy. And, well, one thing that you'll see a lot, and uh, I'm sure this is going in the video soon, it's it's already been in a video. It was in that the Lily Singh video that I did. Lily Singh has zero talent, but somehow gets all these good things. And you'll find that a lot of people will say, "I just need someone to make me famous." So I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on Joe Rogan, or I'm gonna go on Tim Cast, or I'm gonna go on this this show with lots of subscribers or lots of live viewers, and then they're gonna make me famous, and that's how I'll get through. And so there are a lot of people who who kind of do that grift, and you can tell who these people are because they're not competent enough to like make it on their own. Eliza is very very much someone who is corrupted by not being able to succeed on her own. And so I think people would say like, oh, you should go on TimCast because it's good for your viewership. I don't need TimCast to be successful. I don't need any of these shows to be successful. I've, I've been successful on my own without going on anything for the past four years. So I, I'm very, very much vetting the content that I go on. And if I think that you're doing something nefarious or you're not addressing a very important issue like free speech, especially if you're someone who has always been for free speech like Tim, as far as I can tell, uh, I think that's bad. I think he should address the issue. Your thoughts on why people see being average as a bad thing or why people like they have to be extraordinary? Um, well, another issue I have with some of the Red Pill podcasts where it's like they only cater to people who either who, who want to be like super, super rich. Not everybody's going to be super rich. One, there's a... There's probably a minimum required intelligence level to be to be super rich. So if you're on the lower spectrum of IQ or whatever whatever would quantify intelligence, you're probably not going to have access to like I don't know software engineering or something like that. You'll probably have to run trades, but you can still make a pretty good living doing trades. But you probably won't make millions of dollars a year doing trades. So it's it's only marketed to a certain pe number of people. But then the problem is is that if you don't market if you only market to this group of people and don't say hey. There's also an exception here, and if you're this person here who who can't exactly achieve this, here's how you you behave in life. And so, if you're only catering to to this audience over here, everybody's going to think, "Well, I'm that person," as opposed to seeing things realistically. And then they become super narcissistic, like the chicks who think that they're going to be Amaranth on OnlyFans. Most people aren't going to be Amaranth. Most people are going to going to post a couple nudes of themselves, and then nobody's going to watch it. But it's going to be on the internet forever. And now you've just ruined. Now you just ruined all your value. Let's see. Uh, UFO is being shot down. I, I've heard about it, but I don't have an opinion on it because I, I don't care that much. Hmm. He threatens ending himself. How to escape him with safe? I don't know what that means. Opinion on, I don't have an opinion on Dendrochronic. I've been asked a bunch of times. Like, uh, I don't watch his content. I know who he is, but I don't watch his content. Well, I've watched his content a couple of times a couple of years ago. So that, that's all I that's all I know. Uh Euclid Fox, I would say that. Thanks. I just wanted to say thank you for all you're doing. You have come a long way. I'm glad to see hard work paying off. Yeah. Another um by the way, another um key sign of improvement got about five minutes left another key sign of improvement is that if you don't see yourself as cringe every couple of, like your your past self as cringe every couple of years it means you're probably not improving so if i if i don't like especially as a creator like if i don't look back at the content i was making two years ago and see some part of it as cringe it means i have improved mm. 
was Trump a bad president? Uh, have we had a good president in a long time? I think it's like politics at, at this point, maybe it's always been this. It's always like which person is the less bad option. And what I've seen it personally in politics is just like people are very, very bad on both sides. Like whatever side you're on, there's there's horrible, horrendous people on both sides. And it's kind of been very, um, uh, not very, uh, <laughs> it's not been a very happy thing to, to see. Um, people who are professing to be one thing and like who who are on my side professing to be this one thing and then they just turn out to be a completely different person when you see them personally. So maybe that's some of the reason why we're seeing all these people on the, the right fight uh, in, in civil war recently because a lot of people just aren't people who they say they are and it's a lot harder to hide that these days. Hmm. Though I don't really like to do... I don't, I don't study... I don't look at politics enough to talk about current event politics uh, and and have a qualified opinion at at this level of, of viewership. I think it's I, 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 go to someone else's channel for that. Go to Stephen Crowder for that. Go to Daily Wire. Go to the oh, was, who's on the left who's not like like I was about to say the Young Turks, but not the Young Turks. Uh, Destiny or something. I don't know. Thanks for your videos on Roma Army. You've opened up a lot of eye, people's eyes to that grifter. I didn't even talk about the time Earthworm Jim said that. I didn't even talk about the time she stole from a funeral charity. Never likes to mention that. Where a couple when she first became a content creator, there was a guy who was um died for some reason. She run, ran a charity to like help his family out with the funeral costs, and then she's like, "Oh wait, you?" She, the family's like, "Okay, thanks for the the stream. Can we have the money now?" And she's like, "Oh wait, that money wasn't for you. It was for me. I was running a charity for myself." <laughs> Or something like that. What was that? Destiny is considered right wing now. I, I don't know. I watched him on Lex Friedman a couple days ago. He's definitely not on the right. But it's funny when he's on fresh. I have seen some of this. It's funny when he's on fresh and fit and he has a more based opinion than the Myron and uh, Sneeko and uh, Walter have. Do you think all politicians are corrupt? I think probably most of them are. I think it's probably it's it's very rare someone who's not corrupt would want to get into that field. And I think a part of the a part of the way you get more honest people in that area is to change the culture. So we need to work on the culture first before before we start getting good politicians and stuff like that. Do you ever think about hiring? Oh, here's something I did want to talk about. This is this is in relation to uh, the more you guys save me time, the better things can get. So one of the things I've been doing to. Uh, Josh and Mott, whatever that, whatever that, five dollars super chat. Do you ever think about hiring an editor to save time? A hiring an editor will not save me time. Well, it's, it'll sort of save me time. But one of the things I've been doing is changing the way I record things. Is when I first started out, I had a massive, massive, massive speech impediment, and it'd be very, very hard to understand what I was saying in videos. So I uh, started scripting everything, and I slowed things down. And so, if you watch old videos of me. You can you can hear my voice is very very slow. The reason for that is because when I would speak faster, my enunciation was terrible and it'd be hard to hear what I was saying. So I have, and so what would happen is I kind of like downward spiral into like getting more and more correct about making sure everything is enunciated perfectly when that's not necessarily necessary. Like you can you can fail to enunciate words properly and people still understand you. Like a lot of times people will will flub the word to or can. Like you can say. I can do that. I didn't say can there. I said can. I can do that. And people will understand that. So as long as your enunciation isn't isn't so off, like you can be fine. But I, I got a little bit too into that, and well, I was basically cutting every single line to where it's like I would say one sentence and then cut it, and then one sentence and cut it, and one sentence and cut it, and that would be like holy crap, that takes a lot of time to edit that. So recently, I've been working on on saving time that way. One other thing I need to save more time and, and create more content and. Uh, produce the income that's required for an editor is basically more ideas. I need more ideas that, that will be in good videos. And not, not that it's up to, to people to know exactly what good ideas are. Just just send me stuff if you see it. Send me it on Twitter. Send it to my to my request email. I think before you sleep request at gmail.com. Sorry, it's kind of long. I didn't think to put it as, as TBYS and the email's already there. So, But basically, the kind of editing I want is the kind of editing that you would see on um, the Internet Historian's channel, where it's very, very high effort editing. Because I don't want to put my face on camera because I don't... 
I don't think that that fits the video as well. I'd rather just have it as good editing and do face stuff for live streams. So um, that high level editing is not only time consuming, it takes about, for a 20 minute video, I think it takes about two weeks to edit a video like that, as far as I was told. And it, it's a couple thousand dollars to just to, to talk about uh, expenses. So in order to do that, one, I need more people watching because uh, then you get more ad revenue. You also get more likely to get sponsors. I really need consistent sponsors. Sponsors are incredibly hard to get, especially after that established title shit. Uh, thanks for that, guys. Um, my bad on that one. Uh, and 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 once you get to get a small, you just like hold on to them for dear life because most sponsors are like scams. Most sponsors are like, hey, we have this new video game that works on your cell phone that we want you want you to try out, and it's just it's just basically spyware or it's like. It's um, some sort of thing that that is there to like steal your information, and that's like ninety nine percent of ads. So, yes, I would basically to answer that that question short uh, more quickly. Um, yes, I'd like an editor, but there's a lot of things that are in the way. Uh, the The biggest thing would be cost. Uh, the second thing would be that recording issue where it's like I can't have them editing every sentence to record because that unnecessarily increases the time it takes to edit. So once all that stuff gets figured out, I will get an editor. That's something I'm looking for because I think my videos will get a lot more views if they were edited properly. Let's see. Oh, Raid, yeah, Raid Shadow Legends was fun. <laughs> I did that to meme. I wanted to do one more, but it's they're, they're such a pain in the ass to work with. A lot. Like they want very, it's nice that they, they tell you what they want in the video because I, I really hate it when the ad companies don't do that because then it's like, well, what do I say? But they're they're very overly specific on what they want, and they they they're in like some weird country that has different hours, and so like every time you send them a, a request, it's like it takes a day to answer it, and so if I have like five different requests, that's now five days I have to wait to release a video. So I try to avoid things like that. Though I I, I like doing that meme video; Th those ads were fun. Let's see. Hi, dude. Your content has really helped my CP, CPST. Is that some post-traumatic stress disorder thing? Thanks. Uh, oh, you're welcome, I guess. Uh, greens help all as well on your end. Well, it's been about, well, it's been more than two hours, so I think I'm going to um, end this. So thanks for watching. Uh, always follow me on Twitter. Actually, more than follow me on Twitter, again, most important thing, if you have, if you see a good idea for that would fit a video of mine, uh, send it to me. Send it to me on Twitter. Send it to my my request email, uh, and that would be probably the most helpful thing that people could do for the channel. And now that I said it, hopefully, well, I guess it'd be a good thing to be bombarded with emails in that case. But uh, thanks. Good night. Enjoy your is it Friday night? The rest of your Friday night. Enjoy your Saturday. I will hopefully we'll see. I'm gonna say this in the email words, but I'm gonna try to stream on Sunday. I do want to get one more stream done before the end of the uh, before the end of the month. 